in the fiery depths of hell, where anguish and torment ruled. A malevolent creature, unlike any other, was born. It was a grotesque fusion of an arachnid and a human, spawned from the anguished spirit of a tiny, innocent spider that had once lived on the earth. Long ago, the spider had crawled innocently through the corners of a quaint cottage, spinning delicate webs to catch its meager meals. But its peaceful existence had been shattered by cruel humans. Its web was torn apart strand by strand in front of its eyes, and as it fell to the ground trying to scurry away from the clutches of cruel humans, its fragile body was crushed under the brute force of a foot without second thought. In the darkest abyss of hell, where agony can take on a life of its own, the spider's soul had become twisted and writhed, fueled by a seething hatred for humans who had brought it to such a miserable end. As time passed, the spider's torment grew stronger. Its desire for vengeance was now burning like a relentless flame. One night, amidst the infernal chaos, the spider's anguish transformed into a devilish entity, its supper half becoming humanoid with a wicked face and sinewy limbs, while its lower half retained four spindly legs of a spider. Two more appendages, those of a spider, had emerged from its back and flaunted sharp talons at the ends, ready to tear off anything that stood in front. Its eyes were pools of malevolence glowing red with the spirit of vengeance and its fangs dripped with venomous hatred. This creature, half spider, half human, emerged from the shadows of hell with a singular purpose, to bring agony and suffering to the human realm. It crawled through the interdimensional rifts, weaving curses and traps, ensnaring the hearts and minds of those it encountered. Any who crossed its path would be driven to madness, haunted by their darkest fears and regrets. But even the hell itself was not spared of its wrath. Any soul he found trying to wander away from the bounds of the boiling pits of hell, he would pierce them and torment them even further. But as it wrought its devilish deeds, the creature couldn't help but feel a twisted satisfaction. In the bowels of the heathens where pain and agony thrive, this half-spider, half-human abomination revelled in its unholy existence. It revelled in the torment it inflicted, for every agonized scream and anguished tear brought a sick sense of retribution for the spider's own suffering. In the end, the creature's existence was a chilling reminder that even in the darkest corners of hell, vengeance could take on an unimaginable form. It continues to lurk in the shadows as a devilish entity born of a small spider's misery, seeking to spread its own brand of torment to the world above.